Ladies and gents, this is your personal virus and it is a pleasure for me to welcome you back on the iCraft server here in our future base. Maybe? Maybe? If I can pull it off, I'm still not so sure. I've been working on this thing a lot. Like, to the point where it's hurting. Right behind me you see the center of the whole giant circle. I'm standing in midair, I can walk on water for some reason, okay. And right in front of me you see something that's a bit scary. Oh, Agra just joined back. Something that's a bit deep. Ow! <laughs> something that hurts. Welcome back, Agra. Oh, man. Yup. I've done work. Can you see it? Can you judge how much work? Can you tell that this is a bit crazy? And this is only... Not even, not even, but about a fourth of the whole thing. Almost a fourth. And it's raining. And if I, I, if I, I, you know, I, if, if, if I, if I even, and then you, it's, uh, it's madness. I underestimated it and I expected it to be horrible and a lot of work. I've been working on this almost all this week now I had two days where I couldn't work on it and it is just so horrible getting rid of the water with the sponge is great really great and the 36 sponge that I have are quite a nice amount too if only one person is working on it this is what I usually do place my nether egg like so jump in the water keep like I keep facing in the direction where I can safely remove the sand. I can't remove that one or that one because water behind there, obviously. So, jump, place, jump, just like that. A mixture of nether egg and sponge, nether egg, sponge, nether egg, sponge. This works really well, doesn't it? And getting rid of the sand walls also, no problem at all. Just place down your torch and you're all good. Sand is dropping down, it looks cool, it's pretty fun to watch, it goes quickly, it goes easily. But what takes for ever and two days at least is placing down the next rows of sand. Like now I can just jump, 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 hey, fall. And it looks quite cool. I like it. <laughs> nice. It's fun. But what is no fun is to place these walls back. Let's quickly get rid of the sand. And then we almost, almost are at the part where we can say we dug a fourth of the whole thing out. And oh, oh I'm quite proud of that. I really am. And I really still want to continue, even if it is a crazy workload but oh does it look cool already does it look promising already we have so much space here <laughs> my original plan was <laughs> to make this thing 200 wide it is 100 and either it is 100 now or 120 i'm not even sure anymore how big i made it but i made it way smaller than i wanted to in the first plan and i'm happy about that because it is so much space still so much space. I cleared out a 200 wide piece of ocean in a creative world and I was like, yeah, that looks good. But as Beaverman said in one of his latest videos, the thing with creative is you fly most of the time. You hardly ever walk. And once you start walking in here, you start to realize how big this thing is. Oh man. So as I said, placing down the sand is the most pain, uh, because it takes forever. I have a little trick that kinda helps, at least somewhat. So let me see. If I were to place down sand here, holding down right mouse button. One, 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 one. This is the fastest it goes. And as I said earlier in a 
earlier video earlier in an earlier video yeah look at my words i'm i do english i i i good at english virus good at english don't question uh sorry <laughs> as i said as i said oh my god i just as i said as i said earlier as i said i should stop speaking but as i said i said my wow okay okay Hmm. Okay, I think I collected myself there because I totally confused myself with what I was going to say and now I caught my thoughts and I um yeah. So, as I was going to say in an earlier video, I was speaking about how I set my G15 to doing right mouse click for me. Oh, give me my helmet. So I don't constantly have to hold that key down and now I set it to flickering right mouse click so it's basically doing like three or four clicks per second and look at how much faster that goes it places three cent in a row it's not really three times faster though because it takes a bit longer for the cent to fall so far down that you can place cent again but it's definitely faster than just holding down right click so this is what i'm doing it kind of keeps my right hand safe but stresses my left hand a bit more i i already had cramps in my hand from all this just standing down holding down keys it's a bit annoying <laughs> oh man but oh well we are making progress and i'm determined to finish that but we will not do this here all day long nope as i said i'm pretty exhausted pretty burned out so we will do something nice and i will quickly collect this i know i shouldn't collect the sponge with my diamond pick because it's kind of a waste on the diamond pick but anyways it's working nice for the netherrack and that's basically why 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 i'm using the netherrack because it breaks so easily and so quickly i like it for that and i just want to clear my inventory so we can grab <laughs> more sand actually <laughs> and i'm not even sure if that is necessary now but just in case just in case i still have all my sponges which is really making me happy you're supposed to go oh you're checking it out then uh, okay go there what is also interesting and quite helpful is slime this here is a slime chunk slimes keep spawning here especially when i put up and this is quite nice because I don't have a slime chunk and no access to easy slime just yet. So I'm really happy about that. I need a completely empty inventory because I want to head over to Not Quite Nerds Empire. Oh, glitchy, glitchy. Okay, let's be friends. And over there I want to drop off as much sand as I can grab. Let's leave the X here. Should I? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. I got food as well. And then I will show you what I really need today. They've built me a little vacation hut. And oh, oh, do I need that. I need it so much. So let's get down some water here. I want to keep my sand. I don't want to mix it up with this sand. I will give not quite nerds because I'm still direly in need of sand myself. So I will swim up here. And I will see you once we are over at their place. So, as you would maybe think, it will be in a minute. Oh, no, I don't want the gravel. Pick it up. Oh, I can't pick it up. Pick it up. And... And... Put it back. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would clean up things, but okay, things are cleaned up already. All right, guys, we're here at Erebus Empire. What not quite nerds are building. What I'm always excited about seeing at this nighttime, though. So I am most most at kiosk at Erebus tourist fashion maybe maybe could be etf. i don't know what etf stands for I, I really don't know but i think our little house is actually right on top of here isn't it isn't it 
Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it is all beautiful. And I know I'm running through it and you can't even see it, but give me a minute. I need to sleep. I need to sleep because I'm very, very scared of creepers. Oh, Agra joined. I thought he was sleeping. <laughs> he just joined again. All right, sleep faster, sleep faster, sleep faster. <laughs> he said goodnight. Come on, sleep faster. People want to see stuff. Alrighty, so this is it. I asked them if they could build me a house inside that little, yeah, that little cave there that breaks through to the other cave. <laughs> he left again. To the other cave. Let me show you from over there. And I really loved that area. And the way they built it is absolutely perfect. I had a few ideas in mind for it. And they were like, hey, we can build it the way you want it. And I was like, nah, I would just maybe build it like this and that and just go for it. And the way they did it, I love it. There's the house there. It's, you can't really see it too much, but this is how I wanted it to be. It, it's kind of glimpsing out, you know? They made that perfect, absolutely perfect. I love how it turned out. So since we are here, let me see if there is any chest that seems to be for sand oh man i just was there uh, good enough so <laughs> linz needed some sand and i don't know if she still needs it i did not have the time to bring her this sand right when she needed it because lots of things were happening in my life but in case she still needs it Lindsay, there's loads of sand now I forgot what she needed it for, I think, glass, maybe, maybe, but no, she got a lot. So let's go up there, check out the house, check out the house. Mm, I love the house. What, what, what did mean? Erebus tourist fashion? Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I like how, uh, what, what I made of it, I think it is something. Okay, so here, this is basically my little garden. What's that? No children ever. Oh, yeah, I saw her place down there. I'm quite okay with that. I'm happy if I don't have to worry about noisy children. Not that I I like children in general, but they can also be quite a handful. So since this is my spot of quiet and peace here, I'm happy that there are no children allowed. Mm. So relaxing. I needed that after all the exciting, stressful work. That is cool. I like that. Pretty. So here's the house now. The top part, Bard, the top of Bard, don't you know? Top part goes right into the mountain. I might put some sort of, I don't know, maybe some stairs and then some half slabs in that direction and that to make it look as if it's a part. Dude. But I also like it just like so. Then I was really happy about this window and I can understand why. It's really cool how the stairs shape around there. It's nice. It's nice. So let's... Oh yeah, yeah. Before we check it out from the inside. This is what I asked if they could do it. Kind of put it on struts because I wanted to keep the natural shape here. And it is really cool how they did that. I am really, really happy about it. And it has everything we need. Have I shown it to you from here? Really cool. Uh, I need to learn how to enter it properly though, because I'm clumsy. But that's okay. Everything we need is in here. A furnace, some storage, oh, even stuff. Oh, I love stuff. <laughs> A crafting bench, bench. Oh, oh, that is cool. I could, I could put chicken in there, could I not? And then I could jump up and grab their eggs. Ooh, now I wanna, now I wanna get, if I if I can get my hands on some eggs, I will try that actually. That sounds fun. Yeah, up here we just saw it very briefly. My bedroom, very nice. I can sit down here, read some of the books. I actually love reading, and I can look out here. It's not the greatest of view, but it's nice. It is nice. I like it. And down here, I was thinking about maybe. Mm, whereby I really like it with the vines and the coal there. I could maybe place it on some different ores. But this is a bit plain, so maybe I could place a... S something that doesn't start with S. Painting! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a painting there that could look cool. In that I like. 
Very nice. So we have our official... Is that Enderman damage? Does that have to be like that? I don't like Enderman. Enderman, I hate them. I, I, I hate Enderman, really. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, we have our official vacation home and I love it. So much thanks to Not Quite Nerds for that. And let me quickly see if I can... Chicken! Do you have an egg? Do you? Do you? You do! Now, the big question. Will this one egg spawn a baby chicken? If so, that would be... People... Oh, it did work. Oh, never mind me. Did you lay an egg? Did you? Why didn't you? Lay an egg for goodness. Goodness. Goodness sake. I'm very good at this talking thing today. Oh, you did lay an egg. There you go. Just have to complain. What was I about to say? Yeah, I managed to jump out there. I have tried that so many times and couldn't get it to work and now it's so easy. What? What have I been doing wrong all this time? Uh, I don't know. I like their banner. It's really cool. Well, let me quickly see if we can spawn a chicken there. And then we have one more thing to do for this episode. You could say that we didn't do much, but I would tend to disagree. Considering how much water I not really dug out, but got rid of there. So let me see. I want to jump up in here. It should be possible. Yep. Oh, no, 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 don't die. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> so it is possible, but the thing spawned inside your wall. Alrighty. What I will do now is head over to my shop because I need to reset my prices there. I wanted to do that forever. Another chicken, another opportunity. And people kept buying stuff from me where I think that it's really overpriced, especially considering that the game went on for quite a while now and things like hoppers got so much cheaper for us because we can get iron basically for free now with iron farms. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we will see each other over there in once again a minute. Okay, there we are. Let's see. Right behind me is the bakery. This is kind of an all iCraft woman's thing. <laughs> Wolfie and Linz basically had the idea of making a bakery at the same time. Oh, I gotta be careful if I hold down right click and I'm hungry, I will eat that. I, I, I mean, it, it could totally happen, to, totally, like, like unintentionally, I could... Mm, okay. uh, just, just saying, so <laughs> this is now an all girls united iCraft thing or something. <laughs> Pretty cool, and it's right next to my shop, so if I'm ever hungry, I can just, uh, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, let me just check. Ooh, I didn't want to check that. No, okay, no new projects, but check out the prices. Three diamonds for 16 dispensers. Mm. Mm. Four diamonds for 16 daylights, and so, well, I don't know. But that, definitely way too expensive. Come down. Come down. Hoppers. Five diamonds for. Oh my god, come down. Three diamonds. For, no, what are you doing? One diamond for six. No, no. Two diamonds for. No, no. <laughs> well, quartz is still kind of very rare. One. No, no. No, no. <laughs> so, out of all my items. Wait a second. No. I will leave two here, the rest I will make drastically cheaper. And just to quickly check if there has been any new requests, because I keep forgetting to check that. People eventually Skype me and they are like, hey, uh, I placed a book in your, oh, oh, what, what, Agra, did he, a payment from Agra? Space program, chop for the homie, Yeah, we solved all these. What? Mm, Egra? What? What? Uh, I'm con confused now. I have a bunch of. Oh, yeah, let's put that up. Bunch of random stuff in here that. That is very confusing for me now. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, right, he purchased. 
Yeah, he bought normal stuff from the shop, of course. He said that in one of his videos. Ah, uh, I... I'm so forgetful. I thought I'm only doing the redstone project job, but I just took down the things because I'm doing a normal redstone shop as well. <laughs> so yeah, there's the stuff that Agra paid. So let's see, what do we want to do for that stuff? Three diamonds for a 16, definitely not. Let's make it two diamonds for 32. Yeah, that seems on. Well, let's maybe make it three diamonds for 32 because we do need the slime here and make it two diamonds for 32 for the regular ones. That is, seems a lot better to me. Now, hoppers, they are basically really, really cheap. So we'll make it one diamond for 32. 32 hoppers is a lot though, but the iron is free basically. So I feel bad charging for that. We'll make it two diamonds for 32, maybe? Wait, we just had it at one for, how, how are you called? Eh, no, wait, come on, give me back. I need to know what we have. We have three for 16, one for 16. I think that's, yeah, let's, let's go with that. Let's just go with that and we'll make it, oh no, one for, Two sticks. Just make everything a bit cheaper. These are a lot cheaper, so we'll make it even one for 32, which is really, it's a bargain in my opinion. We'll make this, uh, let's say one for 32 as well. That's really cheap. Let's maybe make it one for 16, because the, mm, but then again, I have a, ah, Whatever, you know, let's make people happy. You're a regular dispenser and you will be one for... Oh, I, I do not have the levels for that. Okay, <laughs> but I did not break the anvil. Oh my God, guys, I am so pro. I used to break three or four of these anvils last time I named my items. So yeah, well, oh, but now I need to figure out, okay, dispensers. We have not rearranged the prices for that. I will do that off camera. Here we have nothing, nothing. Ooh, redstone, okay, okay. What did we do? One for 16. Okay, so we can leave them stacked up at 16s there. Wait, one diamond for 60, is that really? Okay. I guess it is, still seems a bit pricey, doesn't it? Here we have redstone torches. So let's restock you, one for two stacks. So we'll make them like so. That's okay, I think. That's okay, I think. In here we have regular pistons, which should be one now. Two diamonds for 32. It still feels like a bit much, but we'll go with it for now. And here we have, yeah, one diamond for 32. Woo, very good. And do we have 16 more? Yep, we do. So let's put them in, wait, for 32. So even if to do that, woo, <laughs> I need to restock my shop. Okay, so since some of these spots are empty now, we will put the sticky piston right there. Turn it around so people see it's very sticky. We can have the hopper right here. Oh, don't do that. And I don't have 32, but I can craft some off camera. Dispenser with the lamps. No, don't put the lamp in here. And the lamp goes there. All right, all right. So now I need to restock the shop. I grabbed me a bunch of iron. I have more diamonds, which makes me happy. Oh yeah, baby. And I think that will be it for today. Yep, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I will see you in the next one. This was your personal virus, and I hope I got you infected. This is a good stuff.